So welcome everyone. Uh, we will start with the next question from the waveguides. The question is an air filled rectangular waveguide has dimensions 4 cm into 2 cm operated at 9 gigahertz. Find all possible TE and TM modes that will propagate through the waveguide. Okay. So let us solve this question. Uh, let us see what are the data that has been given. So given data, um, dimension is given that is A into B, it is given as 4 centimeter into 2 centimeter, is not it? Okay. And the operating frequency is given as 9 gigahertz, fine. They are asking find the all the possible TE and TA modes that it is going to support, is not it? Um, so, for this what I have to do is, see we know that the if, now if cutoff frequency is greater than frequency sorry if yeah so if the cutoff frequency okay so if the frequency is greater than the cutoff frequency if the frequency is greater than the cut cutoff frequency then only the wave will propagate isn't it so the for propagation to propagate a certain wave the frequency should be greater than cutoff frequency in a waveguide so that means we have to find the cutoff frequency so what is the cutoff frequency here so, cutoff frequency Fc, it is equal to C upon 2 root under M upon A whole square plus N upon B whole square, is not it? Fine. Okay. So, uh, basically now it is said that operated at 9 gigahertz, that means cutoff frequency should be greater and it should be uh, that is frequency should be greater than cutoff frequency. So, it is operated at 9 gigahertz. So, that means what I want to uh, say is that suppose cutoff frequency Fc you are getting and the frequency it is basically 9 gigahertz that means it is operating at 9 gigahertz. So, that means all those modes which will lie between the cutoff frequency Fc to F that will be passed is not it. Why? Because I said that the frequency greater than the cutoff frequency it will allow. Now, if you look at the question it is saying that it is operated at 9 gigahertz that means the frequency has been fixed that means it is operating. So, this frequency how uh, now we have to find the cutoff frequency and the frequency is given. So, all the modes which is lying between this cutoff frequency and to the operating frequency that will be allowed is not it? Those modes can be operated. Now, above cutoff frequency anything can go, but it is the guide is operated at 9 gigahertz. So, that means between frequency Fc to 9 gigahertz all other modes can be propagated, is not it? Because you cannot change the operating frequency, fine. So, that means the waveguide is has been supplied with the frequency of 9 gigahertz, that means it is working on 9 gigahertz. That means we have to check the cutoff frequency. So, if the cutoff frequency is less than 9 gigahertz, that means all those frequency which is all those modes which is lying between Fc to F will be allowed, whether it is uh, operating at 9 gigahertz or not. Now, you will come to know, well, let me solve it, then you will come to know what exactly I want to say. So, cutoff frequency is given, okay, no, is not given. So, we have to find frequency, operating frequency is 9 gigahertz, right. So, let us see first we have to find what is the cutoff frequency, okay. Uh, so, this is equal to now this is C upon 2, okay. Uh, this A, A is how much given? So, A is given 4 centimeter. So, this is equal to M upon 4 into 10 to the power minus 2 whole square plus N upon B is how much? 2 centimeter. So, 2 into 10 to the power minus 2 whole square. Now, you can take uh, this 10 to the power minus 2, you can take outside, is not it? So, it will become 2 into 10 to the power minus 2 because this is the square, this is square. So, you can take common. So, this is how much? It is equal to m square upon 16 plus n square upon 4, is not it? Fine. Okay. So, what I have done? I have taken 10 to the power minus 2 whole square. So, that means I can take common. Now, from here also I can take something common. So, this is c upon 2 into 10 to the power minus 2 root under. So, this is if I take uh, LCM, so M square plus 4 N square upon 16, is not it? So, again you can take uh, this 4 as common from here. So, uh, 16 if you take root, so it is uh, C upon 4 into 2, 8 into 10 to the power minus 2 root under M square 
plus 4 times of n square. So this is the cutoff frequency. Okay, so let us solve this value and let us see what I am going to get. So it is your 3 into 10 to the power 8 divided by 8 into 10 to the power minus 2 root under m square plus 4 n square, isn't it? So uh, let us take the help of the calculator. So this is just 3 to the power 8 divided by 8 to the power minus 2. So uh, let me convert it into 3.75 gigahertz. Okay. So therefore, I am getting cutoff frequency Fc is equal to 3.75 root under m square plus 4 n square gigahertz. Okay. So now we have to put the values and check that how miss which frequency it is going to pass. So therefore, I will make a small table say m this is n this is the cutoff frequency and we have to find frequency which is less than 9 gigahertz. Even at 9 gigahertz also it will be allowed. Why? Because cut, now the since the waveguide is operated at 9 gigahertz, so cutoff frequency we have to check whether it is less than 9 gigahertz. Okay, it, if it is less that means it will allow. It is that means it is operated at 9 gigahertz but what are the other possible modes apart from this 9 gigahertz. Right, so that is the basic equation. Now see, that means, that means see, uh, m. Let us start with zero comma zero. Now we know that zero zero does not exist actually. For T e zero zero, it does not exist. For T m zero zero, also it does not exist. So we cannot start from zero zero. So we have to start from let us say zero one. Okay. So if I put zero one, so what is the value you are going to get? Uh, so, let us we have to calculate it. So, m is equal to 0, n is equal to 1. So, it will be 4. So, that means uh, 3.75 into 2, isn't it? So, this is your 7.5. Just let me setting do the setting first one second. So, this is 7.5. Cutoff frequency is 7.5. Okay, this is in gigahertz because cutoff frequency is in gigahertz. 7.5 gigahertz and the operating frequency is 9 gigahertz that means uh, 0 1 it is passing right so it is passing because it is uh, less than 9 gigahertz cutoff frequency is at uh, 7.5 gigahertz so therefore it is basically less than 9 gigahertz so it is allowed okay uh, let us say then 0 2 let us i don't think so 0 2 will go because 7.5 itself it's here uh, 0 0.2 so it will be how much uh, this is 16 isn't it? So, just put m equal to 0, n is equal to 2. So, n equal to 2 means 4 into 4, it will be 16. That means 3.75 into, so again I have to multiply by 2. So, it is coming to be 15, 15 gigahertz. So, obviously it is not going to pass because it is operated at 9 gigahertz only. It is operated at 9 gigahertz. So, it cannot go beyond 9 gigahertz. So, that means it is not allowed. Okay, next. Uh, okay, then we will go for 1, 0. So, 1, 0 means put m equal to 1. So, it is 3.75, isn't it? Yes. So, it is less than 9 gigahertz, it is going to pass, right? So, 3.75. Next, 1, 1. So, 1, 1 means 1 plus 5, isn't it? So, root 5. So, therefore, 3.75 root 5. 8.38. Eight point. Let us say three nine. Yes, it is going to pass. Now above it, we cannot. It is not allowed because eight point three nine. Next is basically nine, right? Okay. So uh, one one is done. Now coming to two zero. So two zero means what? So this is zero. Two two is a four. So two three point seven five into uh, two. So three point seven five. It is seven point five. Obviously, it is going to pass, isn't it? Next. 2 1 next is 2 1 so 2 1 means this is for root 5 so root 5 into 3.75 we have just taken 8.39 so yes so 8.39 correct okay no 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 no, no. okay sorry sorry uh, this is what 2 1 no so 4 plus 4 isn't it? So, 4 plus 4, it is 8. Okay, sorry. So, this is 3.75 root. 
so this is 4 plus 4 8 root of 8. So I am getting 10.6 no it is not allowed. So it is I am getting 10.60. So obviously it is not allowed correct. So it is not allowed. Next 2 1 we have got now I do not think so ok let us write go for 3 0 one more. So 3 0. So if I make 3 0 so 3 3 is a 9 0. So that is 3.75 into 3 obviously it is greater than so 11.25 that means these are the only modes that are basically allowed. So that means what are the modes that are allowed? So you can see that from this. So the modes that are allowed is basically now if I consider TE modes, if I consider TE modes, so what are the modes that are allowed? So it is basically TE01 okay, comma TE10 comma TE11 and one more TE20. Fine. So these are the modes that are basically only allowed. Now this is for T mode. For TM mode, now we know that in TM modes, TM00, TMM0, TM0N does not pass. So what are the modes that are passing? So that means I have to take only those modes which does not contain 0. So you can see that it is only one mode that means this one. This is the only mode where there is no 0. So that means for TM mode it is only TM11 that is going to pass, isn't it? So this is the final answer. So basically uh, they are asking what are the modes that are basically passing. So total how many modes? So total you can see that there are uh, 4 plus 1 for total 5 modes out of which 4 are from the T mode and 1 is from the TM mode. I hope it is clear. So this is the answer to this question. Okay.